Hey guys, it's Tyler Bundy here, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to create custom fields that's going to help you fit your business in the right way, right now. All right, guys, we're gonna be doing this video on the custom fields, and as you can see directly in front of you, we have a board that I've been working on for my assistant and it's called Jan's project board. And so the nice thing about Trello is you can move things here, over there and over here, but for the most part, you can't see what's inside the card or what's really happening with the card. And that's where custom fields come in. So we're gonna go over and let's just open one of these here. And on here, in a standard card, you see the description and then the comments. You can add checklists, due dates, labels, simply just adding there, adds a label and such. But you, there's really no other information unless it's in the comments below or in a checklist. So you can get power-ups in Trello that allow you to customize your card and it's very effective and we're gonna go over that uh, right now so to do that you actually have to get a power-up now you will not be able to get the power-ups in the free version you may be able to get one or two but you are limited so this is gonna be an upgraded uh, preference or an upgraded feature that is to be honest it is worth it for the cost of Trello it is very reasonable so we're gonna search custom fields and all you're going to do is select that they have they have dozens of these that you can select from but custom fields is one of my favorite so you can put up to I believe three or so on a board so let's just add a couple so you can see what they look like um, and then says this board has reached its power up limit if I want to add more than three cards I have to go to the business class so we know that we're good for right now so going into here you can see that they've added a couple features here we have the custom fields and giphys and then the butler is actually something right here which we're not going into all right so when you select the custom fields you're gonna have this option to select a new field and you're gonna have a couple different options you're gonna have a checkbox you're gonna have a date option drop downs numbers and text the ones that I use the most frequently and I like is the drop downs drop downs are very effective and so let me give you an example um, I have here uh, for inspections I'm in real estate and so we do all kinds of inspections so when I put inspection it might be a normal inspection it might be an inspection with radon it might be a new construction inspection it might be um, a uh, inspect normal inspection with radon and sewer. Uh, we could go on and on and on and continue to add to this list of things that we might have as options we need to select. So we're just going to create that one. Let's create another one for, um, for for a date and show you what that one looks like. So we're going to call this in the inspection date. Okay, in the inspection date, we might let's create another in, uh, and let's do a checkbox.
inspection as soon as possible. Okay, we have inspection uh, timeline or time frame for the number. And then lastly, we have text. So inspection details, or we might do this one inspection issues. I'm just using inspections as an example of something that I deal with that you could create a checkbox for. So let's go over these um, ones that I just created. So inspections, when we select the inspection, we can select any of the drop down items that you created. It can be anything that you would want. Okay, so let's just do a normal inspection. Mm -hmm. The inspection is on the fifth, let's say, um, the inspection is ASAP or as soon as possible. You can, any checkbox that you might want, if this is a referral, if this is something that uh, somebody else has to deal with and you need to make sure a certain person on your team knows that this is for them, you can select it. Endless possibilities, the time, typically inspections are, uh, we have 10 days to do them, so if it's different, you could change the number of days that are allowed. And then inspection, if there's an, any inspection issues, sewer line needs replaced. Now I'm leaving these here because this is the coolest part about Trello, is when you have custom fields, they show up on the front of the card. Now at a glance, I can look at the front of this card and I know that we have a normal inspection. Inspection is June 5th. We have 10 days for that inspection. And we have a sewer line that needs replaced. If I need to see more details, I can go in here. You do are limited. This is something I really don't like is you are limited to just that much space right there for that. That's kind of not very convenient. But outside of that, these tools are pretty awesome. I can, let me go to another board and show you exactly how I have some of these done so here is my real estate business and I have these cards all set up with all the details that are specific to my transaction you know I'm the primary agent I'm representing the buyer this is the closing date there's no as normal no radon inspection date is the seventh it's a vacant so it's a go and show property uh, there's endless possibilities that you can do with the custom fields. So I highly recommend it. This is how you put them together. If you have any questions, please put a comment below and would love to look at them and answer them for you guys. Although, other than that, please like the video if you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.